I've been using Vim for six months now, and since every video I've made about Vim has done fairly well, I thought I would make a six month review to check if I think it's worth it. Spoiler alert, the answer is yeah, I think Vim is worth it. As a little bit of background, six months ago I was using VS Code, and then I went on YouTube one day, was scrolling, saw some of the Primogen's videos, and I was like, huh, this is pretty cool. Vim, it's cool. And since some of my friends and professors had been using it, I thought I might as well make the switch, so I hopped from VS Code to NeoVim, and in six months, I haven't looked back. With that out of the way, let's hop straight into it. The best thing about switching over to NeoVim has been the amount of fun that I've had using my editor. And to you, this might seem weird and for good reason, because who cares about the fun that they're having when they're writing code? Well, I do. And when I was using VS Code, I felt like I would get fatigued pretty quickly when I was working on a boring project. If it wasn't something I was interested in, then I couldn't carry on for long periods of time because I just got bored, fatigued very quickly, just doing the same thing over and over again. But with NeoVim, I feel like I'm having a ton of fun anytime I'm writing anything, even if it's incredibly boring. So even when I'm doing something that's, you know, just a standard function, nothing that I'm very interested in, hitting those keybinds will make me feel like I'm in a video game, which makes me feel like I'm having fun, which makes me fatigue at a slower rate, which means I get more done. Now, to you, this might seem like it's very loopy and a very contrived way of saying I enjoy using NeoVim, and that might be true, but it really is just a ton of fun, and it feels like a video game when you're hitting those keybinds. It feels like combos in a video game. I've said this before in videos, and a bunch of other people have said this as well. And you might think, okay, well, does that mean it's going to be fun for me? And I'm not exactly sure, but if you want to make sure it'll be fun for you, you got to give it at least a week because that first week might suck when you're learning the basic keybinds because that's how it was for me. Because I hated it that first week when I was learning all these different keybinds. Also, you could probably get around that by just learning the keybinds in your current editor and then hopping over to NeoVim, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Speaking of keybinds, has using NeoVim increased my productivity and the rate at which I write code? Well, the answer to that is a little complicated. I don't think it's made me faster at writing code per se, but I think it has made me faster and more productive in some pretty important ways. In VS Code, I felt a little sluggish when I was moving around, and honestly, that's probably my fault because I didn't learn all the keybinds. But now NeoVim, even though I really only know the basic keybinds, I haven't learned the very advanced keybinds, I feel like I'm able to fly around my code bases a lot quicker. And yeah, I work on small projects, but I'm able to navigate files very quickly and delete things very quickly, find what I need really quickly and all of that. The bottleneck when it comes to writing code is usually not how well you know your keybinds and more so just your typing speed. But when it comes to editing code, it pays to know your keybinds. And even if you know your keybinds in VS Code and they're not the same keybinds as in Vim, you'll probably be a little bit faster. And I don't know why I'm saying keybinds instead of keyboard shortcuts. Why are video games stuck in my head? But that's besides the point. I think that if you put in the time uh, to learn the more advanced keybinds like I'm about to do over break, then I think you will also notice some productivity boost. And even if this is all a placebo, even if this isn't real, I feel like I'm faster, I feel like I'm the flash, and really, that's all that matters, right? Surely. I'm coping right now. Or not. I don't know. But I'm just trying to convince you to try out NeoVim. It'll be worth it. My setup isn't crazy. I haven't built it from scratch like many people have. I just went to GitHub, searched up AstroVim, installed it, and then I modified it a little bit, changed the theme, some of the keyboard shortcuts, some of the UI, nothing crazy, and I've been really enjoying it. Although I have seen some videos from people like the Primogen uh, talking about building out a Lua config completely from scratch, which I might follow because that seems like it's a lot of fun to me. But if it doesn't seem like that's a lot of fun to you, just go search up one of the pre-made configs like AstroVim, LunarVim, uh, there's a few others, NVChat, I think. Use those and just start using NeoVim and then edit things as you feel necessary because that's how I started. Although I'm trying to move away from that because I want to have fun customizing my setup. Considering my experience so far, is using Vim worth it for you? I would say so. I would say you should at least give it a try. I mean, install the Vim keybinds extension in your editor of choice, VS Code, IntelliJ, whatever. Try it out for a week. And then if you enjoy using these keybinds and you've learned them well, hop over to NeoVim and then give it another week. If you enjoy using it, keep using it. Otherwise, just go back. There's nothing lost. It's fine. Use whatever editor you have fun with and it makes it an enjoyable work environment. Because as long as you are, you know, mildly enjoying what you're doing, there's really no problems to be had. Thank you so much for watching through this entire video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, leave a comment, share it with somebody else who wants to learn about Vim. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. It would help me and the channel out a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. I wish you the best. Peace out.